Hey, it's me. The owner of Bank Sapnar was taken. Today, I reveal my identity to millions. I'm not- I'm not that popular? Oh, I, oh. Okay. Today, I reveal my identity to 45. What? More than half those people already know who I am. Today, I reveal my identity to the three or four people who are still confused. Okay? Brace yourself. Three, two, one. The audio cut out? My name is Mason. I know what you're thinking. Wow. You are way too hot and sexy and talented to have been making cringe posts two years ago. And to that I say, I am not sorry. I don't apologize to any of the people who had to sit through all the bullshit that I did on this account um, because it was funny and I laughed. Uh, this account was my kid who I lost wandering around the chip aisle at Walmart, for sure. In case you ever wondered, what the hell's up with this guy? I've created the next segment of the video to explain the backstory, because I think it's funny. It all started with the first concert my school went to at the 2022 Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival, the one with Dee Dee Bridgewater and the Grammy Affiliates Band and someone else who I forgot because Dee Dee Bridgewater changed my life and the rest of it was just lost. As soon as Bank Sapnar was introduced, the kids sitting next to me and me freaked the fuck out. We went crazy. Like, first of all, in the most positive way possible, like, I do not mean any insult by this. What kind of name is that? Like, Bank Sapnar. Okay. Um, second of all, if there was a guy named Bank Sapnar, it would be Bank Sapnar. Like, he literally looks like Bank Sapnar. No other name would fit that dude at all. Like, I could not think of another dude. I mean... I'm keeping that in. I don't even care. After freaking out and also saying that Bank Sapnar looks like he'd be easy to make in The Sims, and I stand by that, we watched the rest of the concert in awe of this dude's immaculate vibe. Admittedly, we were very amused, uh, but we were pretty sure we would not like him as anything more than a musician and an entertainer. Like, for some reason, we just assumed that, like, he would be this rich white guy with a disproportionate ego. But as the weekend went on, uh, I started most of the conversations about him, and we kept talking about him, and eventually I found his Instagram and his Twitter. I realized that, like, he's actually, like, pretty chill. We also went to a clinic with the Grammy affiliates, uh, during which I sat on the floor in the middle of the aisle, and, while watching the performance, made awkward eye contact several times, and that was terrible. If, on the very off chance, anyone saw me whispering to my friends during that clinic, I swear I wasn't saying anything negative, it was all positive things, to the friend that I was whispering to, if I ever hear you say the words that I said to you that day, no one will ever hear from you again. Anyways, one of my classmates talked to him and got his email and he was going to ask him for some advice on playing the trumpet. Another one waved at him as he was leaving to go in an elevator after the show and that kid promptly ran up to me and freaked out. <laughs> uh, the weekend was just infinitely fun due to this one dude that probably didn't even know he made this whole band's day. After finding his Instagram, someone had the idea to buy the domain for his website. At the time, it led to a page that was like, oh, buy this domain. And the idea was to buy it and then gift it to Bank Sapnor. I thought that was weird. I didn't really like that idea. So obviously, the natural next step was to create a fan page. Duh. I created the account on the back of the band bus running on two hours of sleep, cardboard popcorn, and the worst kind of band kid rage imaginable. I didn't even intend on creating a single post at all. It was never really in my intention to create a real fan page until he posted it on his story. So yeah, that's the story. I hope you can find an enemy to uh, love me and adore me and not hate me forever. And also follow my main Instagram and my main TikTok because clout at the expense of my dignity is my key to happiness and eternal peace. <laughs>